Ladies and gents, I'm back again with another video. In this video, I want to discuss with you guys on how you guys can actually achieve your goals. And this is the one trick I've done on how to actually, I was able to set goals and hit them. So let's go to my computer and let's get this started. So here we are, you know, I've called it, you know, re reverse engineer your goals. You know, we're gonna talk about why is it important to set goals, how to reverse engineer your goals, and you know the example i'm going to give is let's say your goal is 100k a year so before that let's let's kind of dive deep into it right away now so why is it important for you to actually set goals so the main thing why it's important is because you need a clear destination meaning you know you cannot hit a target where you're just you know your let's say an example i always give is you're in a boat you know you're in an open sea you don't know your destination you have no clear destination. It's the same thing, right? You being in a boat with open sea, you could be, you know, sailing for hours and hours, and you're not. You do not know if you're making clear progress, and you're actually getting to your destination. And it's important because you know you need clarity on where you're going. So, for this to happen, you need a roadmap. You need to hit a target. You need to know before sailing. Instead of like you sailing for hours and not knowing where you're going or if you're making progress. Now we have a roadmap to actually hit and we have a destination to hit and we know what's our estimated time frame in getting in that destination. This is where the reverse engineering goals is. So how do you actually reverse engineer your goals? So we start from the top and we go all the way to the bottom. So I've learned this idea from this book called the one thing and this is how i got into it right so at first they said you know what's your five-year goal and then now break it down all the way to the bottom right so five-year goal turn that to you know one year goal you know one year goal and then now what sits your your monthly goal to achieve that one year goal I cannot spell for my life monthly goal and then after that it becomes a weekly goal right and now it becomes a daily goal so you see do you see how important this is because now you know what your daily activity is gonna look like for you to be for you to be able to achieve your five-year goal at first we need to start you know Figure out your five-year goal, right? And then now your one-year goal, monthly goal, weekly goal, and daily goal. So let's say in a year, you your main goal is to get $100,000. So now we got to figure out first, how are we going to get there? First, figure out on which vehicle are you going to take you from point A to point B? Which vehicle are you going to use? For you to be able to actually achieve 100k a year it could be you know you got to ask yourself is this job that i'm doing right now is this career that i'm doing right now will this be able to achieve me 100k a year i just gave money as example it could be anything right in your life you could maybe working towards buying a car i don't know you know moving in a new apartment so you having that you know that time frame in yourself you know what your daily activities is and you're going to know if you're getting sidetracked on actually achieving that goal so now now you know you know figured out what what you're going to use it could be like you know use doing drop shipping so let's actually let's say you know drop drop shipping is something that you want to get into so that's like the vehicle that you want to get into for you to achieve 100k a year profit wise right so now what we're going to do is we figure out the goal and the vehicle that we're going to be using to get there now what's going to be our monthly goal what's our monthly goal to actually get there first of all we need to figure out how much we need to make per month to actually get to 100k so divided by 12 right so let's do it here first so 100k is how much we want to make in a year so if you divide it by 12 we need to make ten thousand dollars a month so now we know how much we're gonna need to make per month and how much do we need to make per week to actually hit that 
So let's go to the calculator. I'm not the best at math. So there's typically four weeks in a month. So you need to make about 2.5K in a month. So 2.5K. What I'm showing you guys is this is what I've used in every single thing scenario in my life. Me getting a laptop, me being, you know, getting set, you know, work being by myself. And we actually me and my brother have our own place. So it's just up to you on, you know, you doing this is figuring out on how do you hit the time frame, the goals that you want to hit. So it could be anything, right? This is what I've used. This is a trick I've used to, to, to trick my mind on achieving them and actually being conscious on my daily activities. Am I moving forward on my goal or am I not? So this is what I've used. And 80% of the time, if I follow this, it works most of the time, right? Because you already know what you need to do. It's just you don't have any clarity on how to get there right now. So 2.5K is what you need to make per week. So how about daily? How much do you need to make daily, right? So let's say there's seven days in a week. So 2.5K, um, I don't know, shit, 2,500 divided by seven. You need to make about $300 350 let's just 350 dollars per day so there you go 350 per day is how much you need to make and let's say now we figure out we need to make 300 dollars 50 per day right so what we need to figure out now is how much do we need to sell like what how, like to let's let's do this let's say you're selling like um i don't know like a 30 dollar product so you need to sell sell at eleven dollars. So if you you know get more a little bit higher, you know five products. Is that right? Three hundred fifty divided by if you're selling something fifty bucks. Okay, you need to sell seven. Let's say you're selling something fifty bucks, right? Fifty bucks. You're selling something fifty bucks, and then you times it by seven. So you need to sell something fifty bucks every single day to seven people so that's how i would re reverse engineer this i hope you guys are understanding or you guys are following um so now we can set our monthly goal now right so this is the breakdown on how much you need to to make per per year per month per week per day and then the units that we need to sell so let's say this is the product right product so i guess we're doing drop shipping remember this is our example and then now our monthly goal and then our weekly goal so at first what i would do is well at this week we need to be able to actually launch you know like start making 3.5 what 2.5k a week maybe your big goal is this, um find i don't know 10 products test stop right or maybe that's kind of that's barely anything right so let's say you do 50 products or something it, it, yeah in drop shipping it requires a lot of time and attention for you to get into this so that's why you want that 50 products you want to test maybe five webs you know you need to build out let's say per week you build out four stores you no know, so four stores um test out there you go you test out four stores or four products um or you could do niche i don't know it, it, it depends on you right on um, whatever you do i'm just giving you guys an example if you guys are into e-commerce because i know a lot of you guys are into e-commerce that's why i use drop shipping as an example and now what's our weekly goal so our weekly goal now is build that one store um so actually this should be 10k right 10k one store and then potentially um we need to make 2.5k a week and there you go so after that maybe we research about it like 2.5k i think yeah that's about it and then our daily goal we're gonna go back to the weekly goal uh, I'm literally just making this out of my mind. So, um, so daily goal is maybe you do per hour, one hour of your day, or let's do two hour of your day. You do product research. 
and then one hour, one hour of your day. Yeah, let's say you have six hours and you know, maybe you're still working full time, right? So you have one out six hours to actually just dedicate into this after your work or something like that before or after right so let's say you do two hours per day of product research and one hour building up the store you up the store and you marketing it for one hour so let's say your you know your TikTok, you know um instagram something like that so this is a one hour marketing organic because you don't have a lot of money right money right now you're doing marketing on TikTok or Instagram organically. Or maybe you're doing, I don't know, you're doing outreach to influencers, anything like that, just for straight up one hour. So two, three, four. So we have four hours and we still have, we still have two hours left. So I don't know, whatever you gotta do that day to be able to get there, do that. Um, one hour, maybe you could do two hours store building, you know, two, four, five. Or maybe, yeah, there you go. And you extra hour, you still have extra hour, go work out or something. So there you go. Now we've literally broken down. How do we get 200K a, a year through dropshipping? Could be anything, right? Maybe you want to get a car, you know, a $50,000 car. And now you break down what you need to do. Now you're conscious. What do you need to do every single day to actually hit that? So we need to do, you know, seven sales per day on a $50 product there you go now you figure it out now you have a clear goal now to do it and you maybe some of you guys are asking well typically it doesn't work out like that of course it doesn't work out like that all the time this is just now you just have a roadmap for you to actually hit a goal that's the main purpose of reverse engineering your goals so again i hope you guys found something valuable in this video i know the most valuable thing for you guys is your time and i appreciate you guys spending your time with me again if you guys found this valuable if you guys still have any questions let me know in the comment section below any video ideas or if you guys still have any further questions on this hit me up on instagram i'll, I'll be happy to help you out you know i'll try to respond as soon as possible and again um i'm gonna leave you guys with this you know create something you know be creator not a consumer, create something today that will inspire you and others. Peace.